volume here, and I'm not saying this simply because uh, Joel is a good friend and he's here with me, uh, is a, a really <coughs> outstanding achievement. I wanted to ask you, uh, Joel, to begin with, of all the figures in music that you could have chosen to devote a quarter of a century to, why did you choose Carl? Well, it's actually a long and rather entertaining story, but I didn't actually choose him. Uh, he fell on me. Uh, Mrs. Cowell wanted very much for me to do the book because uh, she liked the way I wrote and she liked the way I play his music and conduct his music. One distinguished scientist, one of the inventors of the IQ test, uh, said he easily could have been a scientist. He was an expert on California botany by the age of 15. He obviously was open to all sorts of things, and it affected his composing too. He resisted for his entire life the idea that a composer should write in one style and become known for it, like a branding. Uh, he felt every composition was a different project and it needed to be addressed in its own language, whatever that might be. Now, there are not very many composers who have that attitude, I must say. His childhood was very bizarre indeed. Uh, I mean, he knew genuine poverty. And uh, for those who know Percy Granger's life, there are a lot of similarities, an extremely powerful mother figure and an absent father. Uh, the difference was that, uh, uh, whereas Granger's mother seems to have been a very bizarre person and a very domineering person, uh, Cowell's mother was an extremely gifted, extremely fine woman uh, who stood up in church in the fundamentalist town in, in the Midwest of the United States sometime in the 1870s when she was 16 and said, uh, I don't really believe this anymore, so bye. And uh, as I say in the book, understandably, she left town. does justice to a really remarkable figure, a unique figure in music. Um, Cowell was utterly extraordinary, uh, uh, somebody who, who really is um, uncategorizable.